Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I'm on my phone now. I hope that's better. And uh, I will give you guys another good 20 minutes or half an hour if you would like to jump back on. And I'll just post two videos up this week. Um, so I've had my bit of a spiel about uh, uh, the positives about uh, COVID-19 and also uh, awareness of what kind of traps we live in and of reality and how we can create different realities. So, hi Holly, great to see you. So if people would like to pop up a question, rather than just ask for a card, if you could just give me... A question about what's going on with you I can tune in so I can tune in to, as long as you give me permission to do that um, sometimes I take a question as permission and then overstep the mark so I'm really mindful now yes I'm back I hope this connection's better so this is part two of the spiritual wisdom hour and I'll actually do readings for people um, I might just do a collective reading first and just to um, in light of what we were talking about, is um, great. I'll just have to come back to the old phone. Can I have a reading? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Not really. And I okay, no worries. That's fine. Um, on my on my reel with my husband, no time to move on. Okay, great. Now, guys, I know that a lot of you... Um, I won't get to all of you, okay, but I'll do my best, okay. Um, so, Lisa says, can I have a reading, please? I feel quite disconnected and wondering repurpose. It's not related to COVID as I don't feel that affected by it, to be honest. And a lot of people don't. Um, I had the pleasure of talking to someone in America yesterday and she said she didn't really feel that affected by it, although she is a New Yorker, so she had to be staying with someone at the moment. But, um, yeah, so um, I think uh, we're lucky here because we have the river and we have a, a, a big space to be out in. Um, we can go out into, we have two gardens and stuff. So, right, so I'm asking for Lisa first. So I use a combination of cards and um, tuning in. Um, and I'm just going with um, past, present, future. So Lisa, I wonder what reality you're in because, and I don't mean that badly, please don't take that badly, but um, it's kind of saying, I'm wondering if your husband's getting a job soon or whether that's coming in because... There's a lot more prosperity and physical comfort and things for you. Um, and then spiritual victory and success would um, really just continue on with what you're doing. We do tend to second guess ourselves a lot. I will just have a quick tune in. Um, Also, you've had a lot going on. I've got to say that I do know Lisa. Um, she's quite a good friend. But you've got a um, dark cloud up here. So whether that's other people's stuff or there's just a lot going on that's a bit hard to wade through. And perhaps you are, um, perhaps you are affected by it and not knowing it. Because you can, we can be empaths and not really kind of think that we are. So I would do a lot of clearing and a bit of Reiki on yourself and um, meditation. But whatever you're doing spiritually, you're actually killing it. That's the wrong word. You're actually rocking it. So um, let me... I also like to use different cards to kind of diff, give different perspectives. So if I use the energy cards to go on top of this then um, just one to go with the victory and success or just to give a different perspective for Lisa um, I don't know if that 
man holding a heart. So I wouldn't know what that relates to, Lisa, but you might. But chuck me a message later and perhaps I can just go a bit deeper, maybe. Um, Jessica, so I'm just going to tune into you. Is that okay? Um, to have more clarity on your... Um, you've got the word real, but I don't think that's the right word. But anyway, so I'm breaking my energy in between Lisa and the next reading. So I do see a lot of disconnect between you and your husband, but um, very quickly I, I, I see it more from you than from him. So um, I, I do wonder, Jessica, whether um, you need to have a, a, a reflect on um, how your paths are now and whether um, the relationship is still meeting your needs and his needs or whether you kind of come to a bit of a fork in the road. And so there seems to be a lot of um, relationship. Thank you. Um, it seems to be that there's quite a, quite a blockage from you that you're not aligning uh, with him and so I might just use the energy cards just to shed some light on that um, whoa they're falling out all over the place um, and also uh, you know, even though the relationship's been great in the past, now perhaps he's working too much or too worried about money and attached to money and so that just doesn't align with you um, and you're moving on. So I'm never going to tell you what to do, but um, there's a lot of um, connection around you at the moment. If you, Jessica, if you do some clearing and just connect to your guide and here is uh, Archangel Uriel so connect to Uriel and ask for clarity and um, then sit in your heart space and just sit on that rather than think it because when we try to think we just muck ourselves up and everything we lose clarity but when you feel about staying or going you'll know what it feels like so and you'll know the answer you'll probably know the answer already but um, it's definitely your call, I would say. Chia, is he the right man for me or am I wasting my time? Um, um, the temptation uh, equates to the devil card, which means we can really start to get monkeys in the head and wonder if we're on the right path and if things aren't right. Um, the sacral chakra um, makes me think that you need some work done on your, uh, e on your feelings about yourself and your worthiness and um, that he's, um, that you're good enough for him. And so perhaps just take some time out. This is mental body. So just take some time out and do some meditation and connection. Step away from um, wondering about it for a while. But just uh, take a break and um, you know, just, um, do what I said before is just sit, sit in it and you see the right man for me and then just feel into what it's like for you at the moment. And if you weren't with what would it be like and you be able to tell yourself but I do feel that you need some work on self-confidence and um, worthiness 
house soon, thanks. Um, Vicky Rock says, I hope my life is an open book. Thank you very much for sharing your gifts. Thank you, Vicky. Um, don't really. I, I say often, what's, what's the use of having gifts and talents or knowing stuff if we don't share it? Um, just, I learn from other people too, you know, and I, I just, um, I love that, kind of, I love this platform, this group on a Wednesday just for the sharing and the, because um, everybody's kind of appreciative and, you know, going through different things and I've made some beautiful friends and met some lovely people. Um, so, um, my pleasure. So, Selena, will I own a house soon? So this is a break. My aura up and wipe out. So to break my energy with the last reading, so that I can be clearer for the next one. I tune into the person and. Oh. Well foundation and fa so I think you've got a lovely home there and you've got some lovely energy in there so um and it has been a bit of a waiting game for you um and the market of course would be not so great at the moment um there's a few obstacles and challenges but if you look at that beautiful blue light there which hasn't been so bright um before really that I've seen I think that you'll overcome them yeah so um, try some feng shui feng shui to um, just make sure that you've got good and that kind of thing I, d I do think it's going to be another few months perhaps five months or so but that's only because of what's happening in the world now but yes I do think you will and I think you'll uh, will I own a house oh so you're not selling a house obstacles and challenges so will I own a house soon um, yes um, and that's what this means yes there are obstacle and cat challenges but they'll be overcome Possibly blue, open communication and um, perhaps bridging the gap with um, a landlord or something like that. I just kind of feel that there'll be someone giving you a lifeline or helping you with a loan or um, being generous with something. That's what that means there. So that even though it seems like it's not possible, actually, it's like a miracle or something will happen. So, yeah, hold the faith. Um, is it still five months? Uh, it, look, it's hard to say, and that might seem like a cop-out, but it's dependent on the free will of other people and on the market and what's going on. So um, anywhere from two to three to five months and that's a bit of a kind of you know things can change sometimes in that kind of way thanks amanda um, um, holly yes a card in relation to your son's father lively today aren't they <laughs> It's happening a lot for me lately. It's great. I just kind of think, well, um, trust your intuition, trust your guide, trust that everything's guided and that uh, um, it will be all right. Crown Chakra is your connection to the divine and is just um, a sign to me that uh, Things will be okay, but you're asking about his father, so um, stand your ground. Trust that you're very protected and connected. 
in the future, Holly. Speak your truth. Just speak your truth and stand your ground. Um, I feel a lot of heavy energy around him. I don't know what's going on with him that isn't of integrity and he's in a bit of a mess. So um, you just, just stand your ground with what you need to do, what's right for your son. Um, so I'm just rushing through so that I can question, hmm, will I leave my current job anytime soon to start studying nursing? Woo, Sammy, that would be great, wouldn't it? Um, oh, thank you, Bianca. That's great. She said it's the first time she's been on here. We'll definitely be back again. That's awesome. Um, oh. Okay. Um. You know, when I ask, or will I, you know, anything. Sorry, I dropped out for a minute. Um, I'm soldering on. Um, the masters will say, well, that's up to you. And I'm like, yeah, that's so not helpful. Thanks. Um, and of course it is. But remember that you create your own reality. And if, believe, if you believe you can and you really want to do it as, um, really want to do it, then you can make it happen. Um, so, again, this has come up, material and uh, spiritual prosperity. So, these are emotional cards that are coming up for you, Sammy, about um, spiritual union and love begins. But I actually do think that um emotionally you need to and uh that you are in a position now to do that so just go for it just do it you know like i i left a very high paying job to uh as a teacher to do this full time and um it's been amazing and i i it was a hard decision to make but the best one ever so just do it and just trust that uh, if it's meant to happen it will happen um, Janine would love a reading um, like you have a lot of emotion around you a lot of thinking a lot of decisions a lot of mental activity or stress um, reaching out for help and perhaps people aren't really uh, listening that's what it seems like so yeah you've got a lot of decisions to make and a lot of a lot of uh, things to consider Janine um, but whatever you do just do it in partnership with your partner or your family just make sure that you don't do it on your own you know you just maybe it's hard for you to accept help sometimes or people aren't you're asking for help and it's not happening let's see what the future says If it's to do with a man, I would say go for it. Um, go for it because uh, he grounds you. I don't know. It's I just see what I see is a lot of um, emotion and it's like green out here. So it's like mental body and emotional body and it's all just milling around here and do I, don't I, what if, you know, and then probably people putting their two bobs worth in as well. 
um, but uh, it's whoever it is um, has got your back. So I would definitely. Oh, did he propose? <laughs> I think. Yeah, again, take your mind off it for a while and it will all just become clearer, okay? But it's a big relationship decision, but I really feel that it, um, get out of your head, just really feel it with your heart and you'll, you'll know the right thing to do. Anne-Marie, who is blocking me moving forward? Okay. Um... That's a toughie. I see, um, I see a child in front of you. It's like blocking the way. I don't know whether to worry about one of your children or um, the care of that child is kind of um, something that then you can't get past of uh, moving forward or whether um, whoever else cares for that child is, is blocking you. So it's that's what I see, but that could be totally wrong. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, um, I'm not infallible, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, there's, there's someone who's playing games and it's possibly the father of one of your children. I would really, really stand your ground and don't allow them to block you like that. Um... Trapped in fear, so playing mind games. Um, so you stand in the truth of you and what's right for you and your family and just uh, and ask for help. Bring in Archangel Michael to cut ties to illusion and all that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. And, and also then it could be yourself and not wanting to rock the boat or not want to kind of do the wrong thing. Um, Vicky, I'm not going to go there, sorry. Uh, if you would like me to do a, a private one for you, I'd be happy to, but I, I don't want to do that on here. Um, yeah, so Jessica, I hope that you heard my answer to your question. Janine just says yours family related. Uh, That's a really good question. I need to keep suicide out of my family. We've had much grief. How can I best protect my loved ones? So um, I have told the Masters of Light that I can't do this work if my family aren't protected. And so just always sending um, Archangel Michael to protect them for, the, for their highest and best. Of course, we can't intervene in their free will. Um, but we can send uh, angels uh, to protect them. So when we send angels, um, then if the other person, even if it's family, doesn't want that intervention, then the angel cops the karma and you don't. Um, you can also, I'm just really asking for you, hold on. You have um, Archangel Zadkiel with you. He's of the violet flame. So is it intervention to send the violet flame around people to kind of, yes, probably, but um, you could certainly ask for 
Archangel Michael to bring the violet flame into your house, into your space or where your family are and to just transmute any negative energies and to, to kind of clear negative energies that are being produced and that can make quite a big difference. Um, you can actually ask them if they would like help and if they would like some healing. Um, you can ask their higher self but I always like to ask the person, you know, permission's always good. Your loved ones, if they're children, then under the age of eight, open permission. Um, so angels are the best way, angels and uh, asking for the violet flame and unconditional love to be sent. And there's no, no spiritual law against sending love. You know, love just is. So just sending love and always just um, letting them know etherically and uh, physically that you're there for them and that they loved and they're worthy so I hope that helps um, Maggie says I met someone is he coming tomorrow to see me do you think it will work out um, okay let's ask the cards <laughs> all right so I probably have to go soon Family's waiting for lunch. Mm, same cards are coming up. I'm just going to give it another shuffle. Mm -hmm. If they're meant to come up, they will. I think he'll be a nice friend, but I'm not sure that he'll be um, that he's the. Oh, here we are. There's the next card. Perhaps he is. <laughs> uh, I think you really like him, but there might be a few issues. He might have some issues with depression or mental conflict and he's perhaps moving on from a past relationship so I think um, just stay friends at this stage um, but trust your intuition Maggie and um, and maybe just take it slow and see how we go I'm just going to do one more uh, Amanda these cards are beautiful these are the psychic tarot oracle deck by John Holland, and I'll just tune in to you, Amanda, just uh, to give you some guidance, as you asked. And I'm just full of awe of you. Um, being up at four o'clock in the morning to watch this live. I just think that's amazing. So thank you. Um, I think you've got a lot going on in terms of uh, drama in your life, Amanda, and uh, mind games and, and perhaps people not being supportive. But... Uh, you are rising in your awareness and in your spiritual growth so you uh, just need to really find a connection to uh, the creator or, or an archangel or um, guides that you trust and for you to trust yourself is the main thing because there's a lot of uh, outside interference going on and uh, your connection is strong so trust yourself Trust yourself and um, have a love affair with yourself. And when you do that, you when you're stronger in your um, belief around what you can do and who you are and that you're valued and um, valuable and worthy of uh, being on earth, then they won't be able to affect you anymore. So just really stand in your power there. So... Guys, I have to go now because I've been on for ages and the family um, 
Oh, Holly, that's great. I'll, um, if you could just drop me a line, that would be really great. Um, so I'm sorry if I didn't get to you all. Um, and I hope what I said uh, for those who did get a reading um, resonates with you. Yeah. Um, I'm really sorry that I dropped out and that John Holland, I know John Holland, he's from Massachusetts. Really, I love his cards. Um, they really are great because they're not, they've got the higher arcana cards, but then they've got emotional body, spiritual body, mental body and physical body. And they're the four bodies that we have. And so it makes it easier to kind of, they're tarot, but they, they just give a bit more depth. So, and his illustrations are wonderful. That's really great. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to get to you all. Um, I will continue with um, some readings next week. Um, my name is Victoria Cochran. My website is being upgraded. It's uh, victoriacochran.com, but you can find me on Facebook, uh, Reaching Out Spiritual News with Victoria Cochran. And uh, if you drop me a message, I will answer you straight away. I've uh, dropped my prices a bit now, so I would love to do a reading or a healing for you. Uh, so please contact me. And uh, I've also got a course coming up. Um, Starting on the 30th of May, uh, you can find events uh, that on Eventbrite and you can also connect with me on the Virtual Expo page as well. Um, lots of love to you all and have a wonderful week and stay positive and know that you are enough. Bye for now.